Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In my video this week, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can use shots inside of Autodesk Showcase. For starters, what is a shot? It's a way of remembering camera properties, such as angle, tilt, position, even the new depth of field settings inside of Showcase 2014, and it's a great way of recalling different camera angles that you might have created. Now, I'm inside Showcase, and I can see my Camera Shots panel by going to Story and choosing Camera Shots. That's going to bring up my Camera Shots panel with any shots that I currently exist. I can create more by choosing Create and choosing Still. There are animated shots, but I'm just going to focus on Still for this post. And I can create a shot using the camera angle that I've currently got inside of Showcase. Notice that a property screen comes up, and here I can give a name to a shot, and I can change its transition. Do I want it to fade from black into the shot, animate to the shot, or just cut to the shot with no animation or effect whatsoever? I can also control the duration over which this happens. So these are some different settings you could use to change the appearance of your shot and give it a little more pizzazz if you want to. There's also ways to do animations and create animations that go with your shots, but like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and save those for a later blog post. Finally, I'm going to create a couple of more shots by changing angles, as well as going to View, Camera Properties, and maybe changing something such as Tilt, for example. I can also use Control T to create new shots if I prefer, which might be another way you can approach that if you'd like. So just after creating a couple of shots, and I can do as many of these as I want, I can always go through and play the animation and see the different shots going and linking together. So you can very quickly create a presentation that you can just let play and present to the viewer. You also have a way of savoring different camera angles that you might have liked for different still renderings you might be doing. Either way, take a look at shots. It can be a really, really nice tool. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.